Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a love reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you, and I am going to focus on love. We're going to see what comes up. Uh, if it's not for you, it's not for you. If it is, it is. Let's just see. I, I tend to think these readings, uh, you know, my these love readings are probably more for singles, but then again, I could be wrong. Uh, we'll focus on both couples and singles and see what comes up. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? Ooh, it is reversed. All tied up. This is getting unstuck from a situation. Okay, this is not being stuck. Coming out of conflict. Okay, because this is a five, which is usually conflict, adversity, tension. This is bre breaking free. This is freedom. So this is freedom. This is no longer being bound to something. So you are going to be broken free from something. Or you are broken free. You're not stuck. Right? You're not stuck. You're good. You're not tied to anybody. Or, or you're going to be broken free. Could be either way. Right? Um, nothing holding you anywhere. Right? Not tied to anything, so you're pro you could be be getting broken free if you are in a coupled relationship. If you are single, you are free. You're free. You're not you're not bound. You're not stuck. You're ready. You're open. Right. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? There's two. We don't want that. We want one. One card, please. Ooh, ten of wands. Ten of wands. Now that ten of wands looks a little stressful. Looks like we have somebody here that is overwhelmed. Very much overwhelmed. Over Got too much on their plate. Somebody may be focusing too much on their job, on their work. Um... They may be have have too many responsibilities. Things are a little crazy. Um, there's a little bit of chaos here. There's definitely a little bit of chaos. I feel like uh, the phone is, is too much. There's too much going on. See, the phone is wing, ringing. This person, it's like there's a lot of chaos. There's just this person can't think can't think there's too many responsibilities there's too much to get done we have somebody here that is very 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 overwhelmed something is really taking a toll on them frazzled so we have somebody here that is frazzled definitely uh Unable to concentrate, unable to focus. Somebody needs a break, needs a vacation, seriously needs to take a break, needs to retreat. May even need to quit. Find something with a little bit less tension. Three of Cups reversed. There's, now this is a termination. This is a termination, a lack of emotional growth. This is a third party situation. This is bitchy women. This is a gang. This is enemy disguised as friends. This is competitiveness. This is also the party is over. So you could be dealing, you could be at work and you could be, somebody could be taking, you know, the uh, efforts for your work. Um, you could be up against a crowd. You could, you, you, <laughs> I mean, the Three of Cups is, is uh, it could be three against one. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody that is very overwhelmed. If it's not you, they could be overwhelmed by this third party situation. Somebody could ha even have regrets for getting themselves involved in a third party situation. Now, now they're facing some sort of consequences or something. Oh my God, oh my God, what did I do? You know, there could be a phone call that is that happens. Somebody could get on the phone and they hear something that absolutely shocks them that they thought would never get brought up. 
Anyhow, Three of Cups reversed. Now, this is gossiping, a gang up. It's people that are disguised as friends. This party is over. This is a party that is over. There's nothing to celebrate. There's, 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 uh, somebody could be being terminated. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could be starting their own business, but we're trying to do a love reading. This is an independent person who is very focused on their business, focused on their job, focused on their own security, very self-sufficient. Now this is the page, this page of Pentacles gives it to the ten. So be, you may be more focused on your money than you are on for, for, on a relationship right now, Aries. Expe you may not be socializing. You may not be out partying and having fun because you're not focused on that. You're focused on your job maybe and, and I really feel like job is important here you may have so many responsibilities that you can't you can't if you're single you can't date right now you can't you can't go out and have fun you you got you got other fish fish to fry so you know that could certainly be the case if you're single you're you're just focused on your money you're focused on your job and things are a little bit chaotic right now so that could certainly be the case if you um are in a coupled relationship it's the same it's like you you there's it's not it's not about Right now, it's about finances, right? It's about your job. It's about getting the job done. And things are a little overwhelming, okay? But the Page of Pentacles is a new opportunity being presented. Some of you may have an opportunity to start your own business or go your own way, okay? You may be given, an, you know, you may get this idea or you may get this opportunity to start to go on your own, you know? Uh, maybe maybe you're dealing with some people who really don't like you and you decide to go your own way. So this reading doesn't seem to be focusing on love, but that's you taking action, you know, uh, get it, starting, starting fresh, starting your own business. So I think that must be what your focus is. Focus on your business. Focus on your on your job. Focus on your stability, you know, uh, focusing on you. That's what you're focusing on. Right now, there's just too much going on. You may not want to get tied down to anybody. Some of you are probably getting unstuck from working with people or being with in a third party situation or whatever it is. This is this is not working. This is doing it your own way, going your own way. You have the skills. You have the power. You have the. Uh, this is like a vision. You have this vision. You get this. You get this. Uh, well, epiphany, vision, whatever. This to start your own business or go your own way because this is independence. Do your own thing and to make something grow. And it doesn't involve socializing and mingling and partying and all that. It's all about stability right now. It's like you're setting goals and you're focusing on reaching those goals. A lot of common sense and a lot of determination here. Some of you may be even working on your health. But that Three of Cups being the very first card, the Three of Cups reversed is enemies disguised as friends. And that is, there's no partying here. The party is over. But there is extreme competitiveness with that. Queen of Pentacles reversed. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a wife, a wife or a feminine that squanders money as fast as she gets it. We could have a feminine here that can't save money. She doesn't work hard enough. She's lazy. She likes materialistic things, right? She likes to spend money and she likes to have the finer things in life, but she can't pay for them. So it feels we, this is, we have somebody here that, you know, this is a very decisive individual, very, very wise, very creative. I feel like we have a very strong individual here that um, is about to take action and leave behind something. You could be leaving behind a, a somebody that uh, is lazy and jealous and suspicious and vindictive and this person has been wasting money. 
but and it's a very somebody somebody may have kept you in a troublesome situation they like trouble they thrive on trouble okay the six of swords reversed this is this is a troublesome situation where this person thrives on uh making waves probably a wife or an ex-wife she's not very motherly she she may say that she is but she isn't Anyway, um, we do have somebody here that is reluctant to move on from this person, but this person has been causing a lot of trouble within the family, within the friends, within the, within the relationship. We have a troublemaker here. I think it's a wife. It doesn't have to be, but I think it is. Anyhow, um, we do have a troublemaker here, and I think we have somebody here that is probably deciding. And if, it, and if it's not a wife, it could be a boss. It could be somebody at the business, whatever. Somebody that, you know, wants to handle all the money and wants to be in control of the money, but they, they waste the money. Something about money here. Anyway, I feel, Aries, as though you are going to be making some sort of decision. You're going to get some sort of vision that it looks like you're gonna, you may be... wanting something more emotionally fulfilling it's like it's like you're seeing that there's there's something more well the knight of cups is an offer of love and that is a vision somebody's going to be getting a, a more emotionally fulfilling opportunity i mean that's what the knight of cups is Knight of Swords reversed. Somebody is fearful. In no hurry. The Knight of Swords is, in reversed is a negative, out of control situation. We have somebody here that is clueless. They may be in love with somebody that is pulling the wool over their eyes. Oh my freaking God. Somebody is being led into danger. They're wearing rose colored glasses. I'm telling you what, you need to open your eyes, Aries, and I, I hate to change it up, but this is right, this is the being led into danger because of rose colored glasses. You could be dealing with a bully. Somebody that has mental health problems and they are very sensitive. They act really kind. They, they say all the right things. They're a very smooth talker. You're dealing with a smooth talker. You are going to be wooed by somebody, okay? You really, really, really are. You're going to be wooed by somebody. Could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That is leading you into a dangerous situation. They really are. You may not even see it. Because of your rose-colored glasses... We have we have a problem here. We definitely have a problem here. I feel like you need to take action and you need to go your own way. I wouldn't let this person's words uh, get the best of you. Okay, we got a really smooth talker here. This person is smooth. Very smooth. But they are leading you into a dangerous situation. And it's all about money. They may, maybe they want your money. They want you. They want your money. <laughs> oh, oh my God! They want you. That's the only reason they're doing this is for your money. What they can get out of you. Oh my God! This makes me sick. So anyway, Aries, as far as love goes, yeah, I think that you're going to be loved by somebody, but it's fake. I think it's false love. They're after your money. And I think that you need to focus on going your own way. I think that you need to do your own thing. Whether whether this is job related or relationship related. I feel like uh, you're dealing with an individual. Male or female. That 
just they they can't take care of themselves financially and they want you to take care of them financially um, and that's exactly what this is and I think that you may be reluctant to move on from this person because of your rose colored glasses but I think you need to take those glasses off and step on them please crush them crush them all they're doing is causing chaos in your life they're causing you this overwhelming feeling like and it's killing you stress kills they're causing you to be frazzled they're causing all this stress for you get rid of this person please whoever this person is they're not your friend they, they, and there's three of them too these people are not your friend they're not oh my god they like competition. We have somebody here that this is competition. They thrive on conflict. They're playing games. You're dealing with somebody that is playing games. And I think that you really need to be careful and untie yourself from whoever this person is. Don't let them keep you stuck in their trap and whatever they're, go they're doing. Seriously. There's consequences for that. Somebody could end up in jail and it could be, it could be you. Especially if you're dealing with somebody uh, that has something on you. Anyhow, I feel like we, we have somebody here that is uh, offering, you know, love. They're pretending they love you and they're doing it quite well. But it's not about that. It's not a, it's not even real. It's not real. They're leading you into a dangerous situation, which could lead to somebody getting hurt. And it could be you. This is a big game. Somebody is playing games. I know that's what this is. I feel like you need to go your own way. You need to take a break. If this is job related, which we were focusing on a love reading, if this is job related, uh, you need maybe you need to, you have the skills to start your own business and be very very successful. But we have somebody here that is frazzled because of other people. That right here, that's the thing. So I think that you need to part ways with these people that aren't really on your side. Wake up. So do I feel like there is new love coming in? If you are single, yeah, there probably could be somebody that comes in. There absolutely could. But I don't think they're in it for the right reasons. Maybe they're in it because you, or they'll be coming after you because they see that you can offer them some sort of stability. But that's it. You're dealing with somebody that can't take care of themselves financially. And they want to take what they can get from you. And they will say anything to get it. Good luck.